What struck me when I first came here to St. John Newman was it's just small enough to, to have that family feeling, but it's big enough to be able to do a lot of different things. It's a very friendly parish, uh, very welcoming. I've been to different parishes in different parts of the country, but I feel like the people in this parish go out of their way to make sure people feel comfortable and welcome. So we had just moved into the community. Then we went here the following weekend and uh, we, we just felt at home here. Preaching is great. The music is awesome. It's not hard to get involved here. People are pretty welcoming. It felt like something that drew me in. There was a spirit here. There was a presence uh, that I felt like God was with these people, and that's something that I wanted to be a part of. And that's really what's kept me here. I get from this, this community, this family, spiritual family, I get support, I get role models in the faith, I get sustenance from the word, from the table. So for me, that's, that's really what has kept me here. I mean, we've been coming probably 18 years, and this is the sense of community and family that kept us coming here. Um, I've had some things happen in my life over this last year with my, my husband has had some uh, medical issues, and I, it just kind of amazes me at, at the kindness of people, you know, that they'll come up to me at mass and, and ask, how's he doing, you know, anything we can do for you. Um, what's been going on, you know? We've been praying for him, um, been praying for you. I mean, I think that says a lot about who the people are and what they're like. So they embrace you, they embrace you, and, and you become a part of this larger family. What brought me to St. John Newman in the first place was the community. Um, the people that I met, I had moved into the neighborhood. Um, many of my neighbors were members of St. John Newman. Um, they seemed like great people. They really enjoyed uh, the parish life here and were very active. And so that drew me to become a member. And um, shortly after that, my wife and I got married here, the second couple married in this church. I think that's the neat thing about the parish. The building's changed. The priest has changed. Um, the heating's changed, the music's changed, but the feel of the parish hasn't. No matter what we've gone through, the church doesn't change, our family doesn't change. Being going through the RCIA process and people being really welcoming and really open and I'm, I'm able to ask questions and not feel like I should have known that type of thing. Um, they're like, we want you to know it all or you know, like whatever questions you have, I'm like, why do the bells ring? Or like, why does this happen? And they're like, well, yeah, everybody has those questions. So they just make me feel really, really comfortable, really confident um, in becoming you know, more faith-filled in my life. I feel like there's always something you can get from the homilies, mm -hmm. something that you can take home every week and work on. When you leave Mass, you know that you, mm -hmm. you have something that you can work on for that week until the next week. And it really is brought to you and delivered to you in a way that is understandable and relatable to life. I never really thought I'd be in like a youth group. I never really thought I was that type of person, but I really enjoy it. And we talk like deep about stuff that I really need to know. If you wanna to come to a place where the priest knows your name and knows your children's name, and they are greeted by staff at any mass, there's always staff people here at every mass greeting, saying hello and saying goodbye. If you're looking for that personal touch, then I encourage you to try St. John Newman. If you were thinking of coming to St. John Newman, if you were thinking to join this faith family, definitely take that leap of faith. Don't be afraid to say yes because the outcome will change your life forever. Come and experience the warmth that we have, um, the warmth of the family that's here. Come and experience how we pray. Come and experience how we worship to the Lord. Come and experience an encounter with God. We want you to be here. Um, we want you to come alive in the Lord and share those gifts and talents that God has given to you um, with your with your fellow parishioners, with the church, with the parish, but, but also with the world. And how can we help you develop those gifts so that you can be alive in Christ Jesus and share that life with the people in your world?